Do you know what triggers asthma? To understand what sparks this challenging condition, we classify asthma triggers into two categories. First, we have allergens. These are substances that cause an allergic reaction in the body and can trigger an asthma attack. A common culprit is dust mites, especially in regions like Taiwan. But it's not just these microscopic creatures that can cause trouble. Other environmental allergens include pollen, which can fill the air during certain seasons, animal fur, which can be an issue in homes with pets, and mold, often found in damp environments. Even some foods can be allergens, such as milk, peanuts, mango, and shellfish. Consuming these can cause an asthmatic reaction in some people. Then we have non-allergens. These are triggers not related to an allergic reaction but can still provoke an asthma attack. Respiratory infections, for example, can irritate the airways and cause them to constrict, leading to an asthma attack. Drastic weather changes, too, can be a trigger. A sudden drop or rise in temperature can cause the airways to react, sparking an asthma episode. Intense exercise can also be a trigger. While physical activity is important for overall health, it's essential for those with asthma to know their limits and ensure they don't overexert themselves. Finally, we have air pollution. This includes both indoor and outdoor pollution, from secondhand smoke in the home to smog in a city environment. It's important to note that what triggers asthma can vary from person to person. What may cause an attack in one individual might not affect another. That's why it's crucial for each person with asthma to recognize their own triggers and take steps to avoid them. Understanding these triggers can help manage and prevent asthma attacks. But what are the signs of an asthma attack? Recognizing an asthma attack is crucial. The symptoms can vary, but there are common signs to watch out for. The onset of an asthma attack often presents itself through coughing. This isn't your everyday clearing of the throat type cough, but a persistent nagging cough that just doesn't seem to let up. Another telltale sign is a wheezing sound during exhalation. It's a high-pitched whistling sound that occurs when air is forced through narrowed airways. This can be accompanied by a feeling of tightness in the chest, almost as if a weight is pressing down on you. Breathing might become more laborious, with shortness of breath and difficulty breathing being common symptoms. Some individuals may find themselves instinctively sitting upright to breathe, as lying down can exacerbate the feeling of breathlessness. Now, when it comes to children, the symptoms may be a bit different. They might exhibit pale skin and an increased heart rate. Fatigue sets in as their little bodies struggle to get enough oxygen. You might notice signs of anxiety as they grapple with the uncomfortable sensation of not being able to breathe easily. A few children may also experience chronic coughing, particularly at night. These symptoms can be frightening, especially for someone experiencing an asthma attack for the first time. Recognizing these symptoms is the first step to managing an attack. But how can we care for someone with asthma? Caring for someone with asthma involves both hospitalization care and improving the living environment. During hospitalization, it's crucial to adopt a high sitting position and elevate the head of the bed by 30 to 40 degrees. This aids in breathing. Oxygen and medication therapy should be administered as prescribed by medical professionals. To promote the secretion discharge from the respiratory tract, back percussion is performed. It's also essential to prevent dehydration and replenish nutrition. Improving the living environment is another vital aspect of asthma care. This includes not keeping furry pets indoors and avoiding carpets to minimize dust mite exposure. Regularly washing bedding and maintaining a clean environment helps reduce allergens. Using a dehumidifier and air conditioning while avoiding smoking environments and strong odors can also help. During pollen season, it's best to avoid potted plants in the outdoors. To stay away from non-allergen stimuli, wearing a mask during significant climate changes can be beneficial. Regular, appropriate exercise and a balanced diet are key. Using medication correctly and consistently, while reducing exposure to public places, can also help prevent triggering an asthma attack. Knowing how to care for someone with asthma can make a significant difference. Remember, if symptoms do not improve during an attack, seek medical attention as soon as possible. Do you know what triggers asthma? To understand what sparks this challenging condition,